The materials you'll need are a photo or art, a frame, poster board, a ruler, a pencil, a box cutter or razor type knife, a butter knife, and some clear tape. Turn the frame over and remove the backing so that the seat is visible. The seat is the step that holds the glass, photo, and matting in place. Measure the length and width of the outside edge of the seat as shown. These are the dimensions for your matting. Cut a piece of poster board to these dimensions. Then slide the cut matting into the frame to be sure it fits snugly. Then remove it again from the frame. Using a pencil and ruler, mark the center of your matting by dividing the height and width by two. Now measure the height and width of your photo or art. Subtract one quarter inch from both the height and width of these dimensions. This result will give you the dimensions for your opening and your matting. Divide these dimensions in half for the next step. After calculating your dimensions and dividing them in half, mark and measure from the center of your matting to create a box. This box will be the opening in your matting, but don't cut it out. Now draw a box, shown here in red, inside the box you just created. Using a box cutter or sharp razor type knife, cut out the inside box, shown here in red, and discard it. Using the back edge of the butter knife and your ruler as a guide, score the lines that outline the box. Using your sharp box cutter or razor, cut the four corners as shown here in red. Now you've created four tabs. Fold the tabs toward the outside edge of your matting and press down firmly. Run the non-blade edge of a butter knife across the fold to flatten it and secure the tab with clear tape. This is the inside of your matting with the pencil lines erased. And this is the front side of your matting. Now position your photo so that it's properly aligned within the matting opening and secure it with some tape. Now insert your matted photo and frame backing into the frame and secure it with the appropriated fasteners.